Hey, I'm Scott Budnick. I'm the founder of the Anti-Recidivism Coalition. I started ARC um, because I was working with youth in the juvenile hall, um, some of whom were being sentenced to life and getting decades in prison, uh, and some who were coming home. And for the ones that were coming home, uh, there were very few like reentry services uh, and supportive communities and families to help them return home um, with a real chance of having a great life. Um, and for those that were going to prison for life, it just felt fundamentally unfair to sentence a young person to die in prison. And I felt like there needed to be a lot of changes in our laws and our policies to recognize how young people are different. And I thought that the most powerful force to achieve that would be the people who actually were formerly incarcerated themselves um, to be uh, walking the halls of power and telling their stories and showing that redemption is possible. I've never brought anyone into a prison, jail, or juvenile hall who've sat down with human beings and have not left feeling different, thinking different. I've had people, even law enforcement, victims of crime, district attorneys who came in and said, I thought one way my whole life, and it was this one visit, talking to this one person that changed my thinking. I always come back to the kid I met on day one in juvenile hall who had a 300 year to life sentence for not touching a gun. And uh, when we were able to go up to Sacramento and pass Senate Bill 260, um, which allowed anyone who got a life sentence as a juvenile to go to the parole board at 15, 20, or 25 years, that took his 300 year sentence to 25 to life. And after he got his college degree and mentored so many people, he got Governor Brown's attention and his sentence was actually commuted. And after about 15 years in prison, he came home and worked at our front desk and is now uh, a husband. He's raising two twin girls. And it was just full circle for me to be able to walk in a juvenile hall and see that horror story and then see how love, mentorship, changes in legislation done by ARC members changed his life and brought him home. And to see where he is in life now, it just brings me joy. I think the biggest challenge from day one remains the biggest challenge today, although I think we've improved a lot. I think it's humanizing folks who have committed crimes and hurt people and changing the narrative um, in the public on second chances and redemption and what's possible. I think, as Brian Stevenson, who wrote Just Mercy, says that you've got to get proximate to human suffering to be able to change the world and change the systems. Um, I think that type of proximity, that type of human connection uh, is key to changing everybody.